Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. So welcome to another cross path comparison video. I'm gonna analyze in detail with a detailed analysis the Avatar of Wrath, the two different cross paths for the Avatar of Wrath, uh, because of the fact that in this very last update, uh, Heart of Thunder has been hugely buffed. Now, when you have the Avatar of Wrath and you have Heart of Thunder, you're gonna, uh, the Life Ring is gonna also do more damage compared to RB. So the more balloons that are on the screen, the more damage Lightning is gonna do. Uh, exactly like Avatar of Wrath works, but now it doesn't work anymore only for the Thorns, but it works also for the Heart of Thunder. So now with this huge buff, which is the best cross path for the Avatar of Wrath? It's still the 015 one, or now with the with the with these buffs, maybe 205, it's better. That was my question. And therefore, I'm going to show you guys now the analysis where I just compare the two, these two craft paths and uh, uh, with, you know, math that math doesn't lie. And uh, yeah, so let's go. No monkey knowledge, of course. I'm just limiting all the external factors that may alter the results. And I'm just going here into monkey middle, medium, sandbox. So I'm going to analyze these two craft paths against uh, single balloons, right? Against the group balloons, against the DTs. And then I'm also going to take a look at what happens if you use the Avatar of Wrath in combo with uh, other populace. Because remember that populace can actually increase the attack speed. And uh, normally on any real gameplay, every time you're going with an Avatar of Wrath, you are also uh, building more populace because it's just, uh, you know, just uh, the easiest way to increase the damage that the Avatar of Wrath does. And yeah, so I'm going to analyze these three scenarios. And let's go. So first of all, we're gonna see the 015 Druid. I'm not getting here Alpha Folk because in my opinion, it's just a, new, a utility upgrade. Uh, it's not, doesn't add any more damage. So that's why I'm not gonna use it. Uh, and yeah, so I will uh, actually test now around 200 because of the fact that the Avatar of Wrath deals so much damage that it can actually pop uh, BAD. And therefore, because I want to test uh, the damage against a single balloon, I don't want the tower to actually destroy the balloon. Uh, and uh, therefore, I'm going to be setting here the round around 200, and I will be spawning a BAD. So this BAD, of course, is going to have more HP, it's going to be faster, but I don't really care. Uh, because I'm just looking here at the pops, and I'm just going to compare the two different cross paths, and we're going to just compare the pops. So how much damage? the Avatar of Wrath can do in uh, just this round. So, uh, 015 Druid against a single BD, 20.8 thousand pops. All right, remember the number. We're gonna also now place in the exact same spot as I placed the first Druid. We're gonna place the second one, in this case, 205. And we're gonna just do the same. We're gonna just spawn one BD and we're gonna see at the uh, pops. You can see that this druid is definitely doing less damage per second, and so it, it has less pops. And uh, let's see the last, and here we go. So 13.5 thousand, that's a lot less damage. Uh, therefore, we have a clear winner, 015 druid. It's still stronger uh, against a single balloon. So against a single BD, 2MG, or whatever other balloon you might uh, want to consider. Now, uh, group uh, balloons. Of course, in this case, against group balloons, uh, you're not just testing the actual damage, we're also testing the pierce of the tower, how good the tower is in dealing damage to uh, multiple balloons. And therefore, I'm gonna just test round 98, I think it's a very good example. Uh, and yeah, let's go again with the 015 Druid, and let's take a look at the pops. So once again, I'm always placing and setting up these druids in the same way. So I'm placing them closest to the top, to the left, and leaving them in first. I'm not changing the targeting, I'm not using any ability, I'm not using anything. I'm just uh, leaving the tower to attack and to do its thing. And we're just analyzing here the uh, total pops. All right, just the two MGs left. 
And uh, yeah, now you can actually reach barely this bottom side, so you can still attack these splints. That's pretty good. And uh, that's it. So 188.2 thousand pops. Zero, one, uh, five. So remember this number, and we're gonna just compare it with the 205 through it. Alright, same setup and just round 98. So if this druid beats 188.2 thousand pops, uh, means that against group blunts is uh, stronger than the previous cross path. And you can already see that this druid is doing a lot more damage. I can tell because of the fact that still all the ZMGs are left and uh, this druid uh, has almost reached the other one. Now it has more pops. You can see it's still counting. And yeah, so past to 220,000, 230,000. So yeah, we have a clear winner in this case. The 205 Druid, after the recent uh, buffs, now it's stronger than the 0105 Druid against Rublins. You can see here total pops 234.7 thousand. So if we just compare it to the 188.2 thousand that the previous Avatar of Wrath dealt, that's almost, uh, yeah, that's like 45 thousand more pops. Uh, maybe some, yeah, some more pops. But clearly it's uh, it's more so 205 now it's uh, way stronger than uh, the 015 druid and this is very very interesting because now this means that this cross path is actually the best choice for any gameplay champs impopable hard any gameplay you might be any game mode you might be playing on because of the fact that bt6 the vast majority of the rounds are grouped uh, group balloons rounds, right? There are only a few rounds where you have a single balloon or you have only like two balloons in the screen. So like, for example, round 40, round 60, right? The MOAB, uh, the BFP, the ZOMG, and then the BAD are single balloons. So just one balloon in the, um, on the round. And then we have round 97 where you have uh, the two 45 ZOMGs. But that's pretty much it. All the other rounds in BTD6, are gonna have a lot of balloons at the same time, especially if we consider the late game, right? If we consider uh, from round 60 onwards. So uh, yeah, now the 205 Druid is the best option, it's the best one. Don't build anymore the Druid 015 or 025, just build it 205 because it's way stronger. Now, uh, just for the just having a complete uh, guide, we're gonna also see against DDTs. Now, of course, Druids do not have camo detection, so I need to provide camo detection. And also, I think they can pop uh, lab balloons, so I'm gonna just get a 030 village. And yeah, we're gonna, once again, just analyze the, um, the pops here in round 95 with a 030 village. All right, let's see if I can pop some DDTs. No, I wasn't able to even pop the first ones. So I don't think I will be able to pop these last ones. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So let's see, total pops, 32.8 thousand. Not, uh, not very much. But uh, yeah, let's see if the 205 can do any better. Uh, Druids have never been very strong against DDTs. Uh, especially Avatar Frats, so they're not very good against DDTs, but let's just compare the two. Let's see which one can actually do slightly more damage. Okay, so at least this Druid now is popping some DDTs, so that's a good a good sign. So I'm pretty sure that this one is going to do more damage overall. And that's pretty much it. So we have here 46.3 thousand. So once again, we have... Uh, uh 14 no wait 13.5 thousand more pops from the 205 druid compared to the 015 so even against the dts the 205 it's uh it's better and actually the 205 can pop labyrinths with the lightning so 
you don't even need the MIB. Uh, you can just get the combo detection, but of course you can't damage with the thorns the layer of the VAD of the DDTs. You need only you can only damage with lightning. So I guess going with an MIB still made sense. Uh, now last uh, uh, comparison I'm gonna do. What happens if you have the main uh, Avatar Wrath, but then you have other populist that can buff it. So I'm gonna place here around the main Avatar Wrath, right? I'm gonna place some more druids. It's not very important where I place them because I'm gonna just keep them uh, in the same position for the when I'm gonna try the other cross path. So I guess it's gonna be the same. So let's place them just like this. Uh, zero, zero, 004. Alright. So the Avatar Wrath now you can see has the five stacks for the actual attack speed. And let's see, 015. Uh, let's try again round 98. And let's see the, um, the pops. So before alone, in round 98, he was able to pop 188,000 uh, uh, RB. Right? So the pops were 188,000. Now let's see with the extra attack speed from the from the populace how much more the uh, how how much uh, like pops it gains in just the one round and that's a lot of pops gained yeah that's almost 100,000 more pops more than 100,000 pops gained in just a single round with just this populace you can see how stronger the outer of wrath becomes uh, of course this Small druids still uh, have done some damage. You can see 3,500 here, here, there. So pretty similar in terms of damage. But the main uh, tower, the main Avatar of Wrath, has dealt 106, uh, right? 106,000 uh, more pops compared to before than uh, when it was alone. So that's a huge uh, increase. Now let's just sell it, right? And I'm gonna just replace it in the same spot. And I'm gonna get now the 205 Druid. Now, if I remember correctly, the 205 Druid before by itself popped um, 233,000 pops, something like that. So let's see now the. I'm gonna reset the pops, of course, of the pop list because I haven't to sell them. And let's try again, run into it. So let's see the increase in terms of uh, overall uh, DPS for the 205. I'm pretty sure that because it's just an increase in attack speed, the, um, the 015 is actually a little bit better because it gains more from the, from the increased attack speed than this one. And yeah, you can see that it uh, is dealing more damage. So 303.8 thousand pops in this case. So it's still more than the 015 counterpart, but the increase is not as much because before it dealt 200 and like 32,000 pops. So now with 303.8 thousand, it's an increase of 70 pops, 70,000 pops. So compared to the other druid, instead with the with the pop list, it increased by more than 100,000 pops. The overall DPS now it's. For this one it's slightly less but still it's better so 205 druid no matter uh, even with the extra populist attack speed still it's better than 015 uh, so last uh, um last comments guys now with the recent buffs to lightning always is better to go with the 205 avatar of wrath because of the fact that most rounds in btd6 are gonna be with rebluns and in group uh, balloons rounds the 205 is uh, stronger than 015 alone and also with populace so i'm pretty sure that with the village uh, extra attack speed extra range with the alchemist uh, extra damage still the 205 would be stronger so yeah that's it for this video so hope you guys enjoyed and see ya bye bye